Hi there, we are back again and this is not a casting couch by the way, <laughs> which is not why you're back. You are also a photographer, that's your day job isn't it? Yes, yes that's And right. so we're going to have a look at your photography and you're going to tell us about the, your, your world and your life as a photographer. Yes, not just photographer, photographer slash artist. Artist, yep. okay, yes, all right, yes. all right. You're an artist as well. Okay, let's have a look at these beautiful butterflies. Now, wow, they're interesting. So they're kind of like... Bodies, body bodies, parts. Body parts that yeah. you've turned into a butterfly. I actually sell this at the market, okay. um, Paddington Market, okay. every Saturday. Um, yeah, they are actually body part. This is the women's leg. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. But the way you've combined it, it's like you've turned body parts... Into, into butterflies. Into a part of nature. Yeah, yeah. And then that's my theme. I love body and, um, and nature. nature to combine the two together. And how would you describe this one? It's a male body with abs laying down. If you see it, wow. most people walk past this and they yeah. look at it and they say it's a butterfly and they think it's beautiful and they stop and they look into it. You obviously do a lot of Photoshop with your work as well. Yes, I do. Okay, do. interesting. So let's have let's get stuck into it and have a look at some of your photos that you've brought in here. You have got a man. It's kind of like a little bit kind of fun. It's a bit cheeky and fun. Yeah, it's all about fun and having yeah, having fun and getting. And then you've got a man as fish. It, um, is that a mermaid a or a fish? A fish. A fish. A mermaid a man, man. A, yeah, a mermaid man. <laughs> He looks like an American actor, from a famous American actor from the 1950s, doesn't he? It's oh. like a sailor boy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Well, All right. Look... So, so what inspires you for photography? Um, do you know, people. People that I meet and places mm -hmm. I go to. And it's really just getting to know my models and getting to know the people around me and mm. um, dig deep and see what's really inside of them and bring that out. Interesting. And, well, yeah. well, you're very open and you connect with people. Oh. So, so I can imagine that would be a good quality to have when you're it doing is. photography. Okay, now look at this photo. That, now who's that? That's me. Where? Just having fun. Oh, come on. That's <laughs> Dressing <not you>. up. <laughs> Dressing up that in drag. That is so much. You're doing drag with those huge... <laughs> we can't even see your face from those eyelashes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks like a bit of a retro 80s kind of Cindy Lauper kind of thing. <laughs> It's actually it? in the 90s. The 90s, all right. Yeah. It's got a retro feel. Yeah. It's really, really colourful. Yeah. It's actually, uh, the, the whole meaning, it's more like um, pop art. Yeah, so a bit Andy yes. Warhol. Yes, yes. That's a guy that's floating in midair on the one hand. Just dancing, leaping up in the air. Yeah, in the clouds. And that's the Colosseum, is it? Mm. The Colosseum. Yes. And, um, and the, the, those beautiful ducks. ducks down there. So you've got water, you've got floating history, men... Culture, mm. nature, it's quite it's interesting, quite isn't it? It is. Yeah. While I'm doing this, it's, it's very meditating. It's very mm. relaxing. That's in Ballina. That's beautiful. So it's kind of like a black and white sunrise or sunset? Sunset. Sunset. If you look closely, there's a face there. Wow. And oh, wow. A mouth as a guy. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Yeah. And there's another girl tied up. Wow. That's incredible. But, but um, the way you've got that, it's almost like that's... It's almost like a UFO, isn't it? The sun setting is almost spooky. like... Yes. It's a bit spooky, isn't it? It's almost it's like... It's meant to be, yes. Yeah, there's an energy out there. Mm. A man in an art gallery that's also... What's in going on room. there? A room. A room that's um, kind of like an emu as well. Yes, an emu is part of... Th this time I was looking more to fashion and it's... I just... I took a photo of an emu and I just love that pattern. And that's I incorporated incredible. In to that. It's really interesting. That's kind of like surreal as well. Yes, yes. There's a tinge of Australiana there with the emu, isn't yeah. there? <laughs> That's <laughs> fun, isn't it? Okay. So, um, when you do your creative work, how do you market that? I mean, how do, I'm, I'm not, how do photographers get out there? How do they, you know, I mean, does a photographer have to be famous in order to be successful? Or do you think they've just got to be incredibly good or incredibly well connected? I would say, first of all, connected. And yeah, yeah. Social connections are really big in our culture. Definitely. These are interesting as well. She's kind of like a bit of a geeky pop up girl. Mm. And this one here is more romantic and feminine. It's oh, a bit Delta nice Goodrin, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Slightly. 
What I love about this work is that um, using computers, you can actually create whatever you want, whatever you see in your head, mm. you can actually bring it to life, and mm. that's what I've been doing. So, so can photographers be photographers without taking photos? What type of question no, is no, that? <laughs> well, well, basically, it seems like um, years ago there was a theory uh, that, that came up about about how that um, people can take existing information and and remodel it. Oh. Into their own work, it's a bit, a bit like styling, and okay. and you know these, for example, DJs that take all this other music and oh, remix okay. it. Because in a way, you are remixing and styling and creating something new. Yes, yes. But it seems like you, you, you still take photographs. Though. I take photos. Most yeah. of these are all my work, and um, I combine it together, yeah. basically to create the world that I would like yeah. to see. Because yeah. in reality, it's just. Um, it's great to see reality as it is in photographic, mm -hmm. but sometimes you want to escape. That's that's what I love doing. What is the culture of photography like in Sydney at the moment, or, or just generally? Like you know, like like there's a lot of photographers out there. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of like when it comes to photographers, you've got you know, like you've got fashion photographers, you've got press photographers, you've got landscape. Landscape. And, uh, you know what? I can't. Um, I can't compare myself to them because mm. I'm more of an artist. You are an artist. And I can't say that yeah. I'm a photographer yeah. because I feel a bit uncomfortable because I'm more on a creative side. But then sometimes I feel like in the art world they think I'm too commercial, so I'm in between yeah. really. All right, this looks a bit Andy Warhol, doesn't it? Yes. A bit Andy Warhol pop art. Yes. So was this your creative, obviously it's your creative work, but was this for a client? It's for a client. Yeah. Um, it's pop art, really, yeah. yes, yes. Was that what they requested or was that what you su suggested? Well, they saw the um, the work and they like it and um, yeah. she just wants a, a portrait done which looks yeah. similar to Annie Warhol. Yeah. And, yeah, and then they just produce that. Mm. Most of the time I just meet up with the clients and mm. um, see what they like and then we combine the ideas together. Oh, good. I bet it's a... It's a band. Yes. You can tell it's a color. band, their group. They're great. Um, and they're what? Like, what, some sort of urban, urban funky yes, band? Yes, urban funky band. Okay, um, that's They're in cool. Newtown, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's a good shot. And it's interesting, again, how you've worked with nature and colour and the black and white feel, and you've really captured their faces. Oh, thanks. Mm. They do have a beautiful face. Right. <laughs> and so do you. <laughs> All right. So next time you see Yanni, a... Uh, before and after photos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay definitely. Oh. All right, fabulous. All right, Haken. Thank you so much for coming in again. You are very, very popular. Nice to see your work, not just tasting your cooking as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, good luck with, with photography and, you, you know, your combination of art and photography. It's very interesting. And we will see you again very soon. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.